All right, welcome back to Java Programming Skills using Replit. I'm Norman McIntyre. Let's get started. So here we're going to look at variables. Variables you can think of as boxes that hold certain data. The data is of a certain type, and we'll introduce that concept. We actually have another lesson later on that goes into more detail, but this gets us started. So here we are in the project we've been using throughout the course so far, the, the Hello World project. That's our starting point. Now a variable is of a given type, and I'm going to begin by saying let's declare a variable. And what we mean by declare it, you give it a type, in this case int stands for integer, and I'm going to call it num1. So think of num1 as a box with a name. And inside that box, we can put integers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so forth. Now, once you declare a variable, you then can assign a value to it. So assign a value. And for example, I could say num1 equals 42. So this is assigning a value. Think of it, you've taken the number 42 and you've put it into the box. Now, Turns out we might want to display the value of this. So I could say system.out.println. And I'll say in quotes num1. And let me do a plus sign num1. And before I explain this in a little more detail, let's click on run. And sure enough, we see, we, we see num1 and 42. But I'll remove this one we'll focus on here. We, we, of course, know this is a what's called a string. It's a human-readable string. And uh, we print this out. We know the system.out print line prints that out. The num1 we know is a number, but this plus sign tells the system to concatenate, that is, connect, this value as a string and this value as a string and display them. So that's what we see there. We've actually printed it out. Now you can have other variables, so I could say int num2. In fact, let me do it this way. I'll say assign and, or actually we'll say declare and assign, declare and assign. And so for this, I'll say int num2. So there I've declared it. Num2 is a box, a variable that will hold an integer. And I'll go ahead and set it, let's say, equal to 10. So here we've both declared it and assigned it a value at the same time. And to prove that works, let's do system.out.println. So system.out.println and say num2 and plus num2. And again, we'll click on run. And we see that we've got num1 is 42 and num2 is 10. Well, let's do another one. Let's say we have an integer sum. So here we've declared it, an integer sum. And I'll say, well, sum is going to be assigned the value. So remember, equals saying we're assigning the value. How about num1 plus num2? So here we're doing a, an operator. In this case, we're saying add these two. So the, what the system does, looks into this box called num1. The variable called num1 gets its value, pulls it out, gets the value of num2, pulls it out, puts them into sum, and just to prove that it works, system dot out dot print line, and we'll say sum, and we'll come here and say, how about show a sum? So print line, and we'll do a run. Of course we have 42, a 10, and sum is 52. So we could do it like this too. We could say system.out.println. We'll say, uh, well, let's say result. Let's say concatenate num1 and concatenate a plus sign and concatenate num2 
me give me a little more space here. And then I'll say um, maybe put a colon and then how about some. So we click and run that and we say hey the result 42 plus 10 is 52. Right so we've got that there. So this introduction the key takeaways is variables are boxes that you put values in and the type tells you what can be put in it. So by saying num1, that let's end with this, by saying num1 can accept an integer, you can change it at any time. Let's say make it, um, we'll say num1 equals 1, 2, 3. So we've changed the value. You can change it at any time. In fact, if we print it out again, we'll see now variable it's now changed. In fact you see where it gets its name. Variable means it can vary so the value can vary. So here we've changed it from originally it's 42 and now it's 1, 2, 3. So the value can vary. But also it makes sure you cannot do things like this. Num1 equals hello world. So num1 equals hello world. Now if I try to do that we said that num1 is an integer, 1, 2, 3, or 10, or 42. But this is not an integer. Hello world is a string. And notice the error message, type mismatch. Type mismatch. In other words, the type of this is not a string. The type is an integer. So the system forces you to only assign to that variable the proper type. We'll say much more about this as we later in the course we'll talk much more about variables but this is your first look at it and as always make sure you write this code run it and uh, and use it just like we have here. So thank you for making it this far you're continuing to increase your skill set and there's more to come in the next video. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks as always for watching.